This is a Marshall Reloading Star or Magma heated base with die removal tooling. When you get the unit, this front edge should be even with the front edge of your table or bench, wherever you decide to mount it. You can mount it permanently or just use a C-clamp. Either way is fine. Uh, if you're lucky enough to have a pretty good front edge, you should be able to mount up your little catch bin so your bullets can just drop into there. This is a light dimmer switch. Turn it all the way this way. It's about off, not very much power. Turn it all the way up and get full power. I do recommend making sharpie marks on here. Um, once you figure out a temperature that works, my advice would be is to also include that sharpie mark the temperature of the room or wherever you're doing this is at. If you're doing this out in the garage in the middle of summer, let's say it's 80 degrees outside, you might find this is the right place to run the temperature, so maybe just put a little mark and put ADF. Where later during the year it cools off, you might find this is the correct place to run the temperature. So put another mark here that says 40F. These are cheap. Uh, buy plenty of them at Lowe's or Home Depot. You can mark one up for every lube you do if you want. Um, I have another video. You can see how the removal tooling works. Please be able to check that out. I also have a video with the bullet lube extruder. If you ever wondered how to get your lube into those nice little stick forms. And I also have a book on Kindle about bullet lube. Marshall A. Loading Bullet Lube. Please feel free to check out any of my other videos.